Nolagent here at Tremont Tavern, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Good times and great burgers in here. Welcome to Nolagent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our Tennessee Travel Vlog, we are in Chattanooga, Tennessee, visiting the fantastic neighborhood bar, the Tremont Tavern, on our travel search for best burger options in the USA and the top food Tennessee offers. The Tremont Tavern opened back in December of 2006 and has won awards and accolades for their great burgers and other great food. I have enjoyed several past visits here, but I'm not quite sure what to expect during the current pandemic situation, and this video was filmed in September of 2020. I have really enjoyed the burgers here on past visits, and Tremont Tavern is also popular for their open mic nights and live music weekends. We continue our best burger quest as first we feast with me through the USA for the best food at the best restaurants. In our restaurant review videos, we show you the best Tennessee has inside the best Tennessee restaurants. So let's go ahead and walk on inside and check this place out. So I do have to apologize that by the time I got back here to eat, it had gotten dark really fast. So this footage is not going to be the best quality due to the darkness. And by the time I got here, the inside was all packed. So we're going to have to sit on the outside, most likely. But this is a fantastically amazing dive bar. It really is one of my favorite places in Chattanooga. And I really do enjoy the spot. It really is a great neighborhood bar. And it's a dive bar in all the fantastic, great ways you can think of. It's such an amazing place. And hey, speaking of amazing, it would be really amazing if you could destroy that subscribe button Give this video a thumbs up, forward this video to any of your contacts that you think that would enjoy it, and I work for tips, so if you could also consider contributing to my Patreon account, that would be fantastic. I have the link to that in my comments below, and speaking of comments, if you could also comment below, all of that really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Alright, so we're about to walk outside. It's where we're seated and it's really dark out there. But here it is during the daylight, so you can see the little patio area that they're calling the Tavern on the Green for now. And it also is going to get really dark, so be prepared for that. So let's take a look at the menu. So we have Dirty McCurdy's Chicken Tenders, Deep Fried Pickles, Buffalo Cauliflower, Tavern Wings, Mozzarella Triangles, Tavern House Salad, you can add grilled or fried chicken. And then we have the Tavern Burger, the Havarti Tavern Burger, the Jalapeno Jack Burger, the Gouda Burger, the Pimento Burger, the Cold Train One-Eye Burger, the Chuck, it puts the guacamole on it, Fisher Burger, the Tavern Black Bean Burger, Tavern BLT, Chicky Goat's Gruff. That's a grilled chicken breast topped with roasted red pepper, goat cheese, arugula, roasted garlic, aioli, and tomato. Triple three cheese grilled cheese sandwich. And then for sides, we have homestyle chips, steak fries, our Tavern Tots basket. And also, you can make a substitution of a Tavern Black Bean Burger. And during normal non-pandemic visits in the past I've made here, they always had a special chalkboard burger that you could order, and also they had fish and chips. So a burger I had on one of my past visits right here was a chalkboard special with a side of really delicious slaw. And then here's another chalkboard special with a great side of chili. So these burgers are fantastic, and I got the chuck. It puts the guacamole on it, Fisher Burger. So... All this great guacamole looks fantastic, but I don't know if the structural integrity of the burger is going to hold up. This looks like it's a lot of stuff going on here, so I don't know. Let's see. Mm. Okay, so it is staying together quite well so far. That is good news. I've had experience in the past with guacamole where it just like squishes out everywhere. Everything falls apart. But uh, whatever magic they've used here in Chattanooga, this is staying together better than any other guacamole style burger I've ever had. So this is uh, very well put together. Excellent structural integrity. I mean, there's so much stuff going on here, but it is all really staying together fantastically. The meat is amazing here. They always have really tasty, amazing beef on their burgers. 
I've always been really impressed with the flavors they have here. And the bun quality is also outstanding. And the bun is a key component of maintaining that structural integrity. Quality bun here, I think, really helps with that. Unfortunately, a lot of places uh, kind of cut corners on their buns, and that shows when the burger falls apart because a good fresh bun, freshly baked, oh, it can do wonders with keeping everything together. Look at this. That's a huge piece of meat with so much on it, and this bun is perfectly supporting it. So this is an outstanding bun, an outstanding quality grind of burger here with the meat. All of the ingredients on top of it are fresh, delicious, and tater tots. You can't argue with a little tater tot, right? Wow, look at this thing. That's a huge tot. A little uh, double combo fried together. Mm. It's getting a little dark and shadowy still, though. I'm getting the best light I can, so it's going to be like a little uh, disco party. So we'll just pretend we're out at a disco party, maybe. Here we go. So uh, the burger really is an enjoyable experience to eat here. Um, I'm a little sad I'm not able to sit at the bar. This is the first time I have not sat at the bar when I've enjoyed a burger. Uh, but I am, of course, enjoying a beer with this. Uh, but the burger's so delicious, I don't have time to drink it right now. The beer might be my dessert. Look at this perfectly cooked, medium well burger. It is so delicious. And there's just an appropriate amount of juiciness to it. It's not too dry, it's not too greasy. I don't have a bunch of stuff running down my hands. It's just perfectly staying together. I'm really happy with the overall consistency and the way that everything has got excellent structural integrity, along with the deliciousness of all the quality ingredients in here. And it is cooked perfectly, which all combines to make the whole greater than the sum of the parts even. This is uh, quite a fantastic burger. And uh, it is keeping in the tradition of all my past visits. I literally have been pretty blown away with every burger I've had here. They really do a great job with uh, putting out some good food here. And uh, wow. So in addition to the really amazing house-made guacamole on this burger, it also includes pepper jack cheese and grilled onions, if you haven't noticed that yet. And I put some mustard on top of it for a little extra flavor. But wow, this has uh, been a really enjoyable experience from first bite to the last bite. Tremont Tavern is just a fantastic bar. And then with the live music on top of it, it's just such a great place to hang out. So it's always, really pleasant place to be not to mention i've always gotten really top-notch amazing service so just like i destroyed this burger destroy that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and comment below and let me know what you thought about that amazing burger now we're gonna eat more of these uh delicious little tater tots ooh, 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 ooh. they're perfectly fried nice and crunchy on the outside all right, so the total for my burger and a beer was $17.50 before tip. So if you can't tell by my review so far, I really do love this place. And every time I come to Chattanooga, I'm definitely making a visit here. And I definitely suggest you do the same. So thanks so much to everybody at Tremont Tavern for so many great times here. And if you would just go ahead and consider joining my Patreon program as I work for tips, I really would appreciate it. The link for that will be in the comment below. So tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.